In these problems, we're being asked to find the reciprocals of fractions. And it's actually uh, maybe easier than it sounds. The reciprocal, which is kind of a big word, of a fraction is really just the fraction upside down. So I would find the reciprocal of 3 fourths by putting what's on the bottom on the top and what's on the top on the bottom. So instead of 3 fourths, it's 4 over 3 or 4 thirds. It's as simple as that. That is the reciprocal of 3 fourths. Let's try another one. What is the reciprocal of 2 sevenths? Well, instead of the 2 on the top and the 7 on the bottom, it's the 7 on the top. 2 on the bottom, so it's 7 halves. All right, here's one that's slightly more tricky. This one says, what is the reciprocal of 9? And you might be stumped by that at first. That's not a fraction. Uh, so how do we find what this re reciprocal of 9 is? Well, any whole number like this, any integer, can be written as a fraction. It's just 9 over 1. You can think of that as 9 ones, um, uh, which is 9. And then to take the reciprocal, reciprocal of that, we would get 1 ninth. All right, and this last one is pretty tricky, but it's got a simple method. Uh, if you know how to do it, it'll be pretty easy. It says, how many 2 elevenths are in 1? So if you had 1, let's say this box is 1, and you'd chop that up into 11 parts and then filled, shaded in two of them, how many would be in there to make up that 1? Maybe this would be easier to visualize if we just chopped it up into four parts and changed the question. So let's say each of these bars is one-fourth, and the whole box is one. How many one-fourths are there in one? Well, you can count them, one, two, three, four. So the answer is four, which if we wrote it as a fraction, it would be pretty clear it's the reciprocal of one-fourth. So how many one-fourths in one? Four once, or four. The same trick works uh, on any kind of fraction. If you ask how many 2 elevenths are in 1, it's going to be the reciprocal of that. So the answer will be 11 halves. And I can maybe show you how that's true with something slightly more difficult than the 1 quarter. <clears throat> this problem would be how many 2 thirds in 1. That's our question. Well, if we divide this up into thirds, and we have two of them shaded in. That's two-thirds. So how many of these guys make up one? Well, if I'd done this more evenly, it would be um, easier to see. But each one of these, you know, is the same, should be the same. That's one-third, that's one-third, that's one-third. So if I wanted to fill this one in two, I would just need another one of these, which is half of what's shaded in. So it's really one and a half. And if we write that as a, an improper fraction, 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3, we get 3 halves. So it takes 3 halves, 2 thirds, to fill in that 1. And you'll notice reciprocals. So that's a little bit of work with reciprocals.